There are baseball games that are exclusive to Japan, and there are baseball games that are exclusive to America. And that about makes sense, as the sport is mostly popular in those markets. Releasing a baseball game in Europe doesn't really make any sense, as baseball is about as relevant there as eating small portions is relevant here in America. But there would be one baseball game that was released in Europe and Australia that Americans never got, and that game is League Series Baseball 2. I, I don't know what happened to League Series Baseball Baseball 1, it, it doesn't exist. Now, League Series Baseball 2 is... I don't even know what. It's just madness. The whole game is just a mess of noises and effects. Here, just look at any play. 3-2-3. Three, three. Now batting. Third. A big man in the batting line. A slide. The ball flies between the right and center fielders. He hits the first ball. The right fielder's running for it. And so is the center. The third base runner scores. The batter. The second. He got it. The third base. The batter passes second and is heading to third. A timely three base. There's a lot to take in here. It kind of reminds me of those soap operas in India. There's so many dissolved transitions, so many overlays. Everything needs a sound effect or a video effect. A fly ball? Here's an effect for it. The bat has this ultra instinct effect along with the baseball itself. Throwing the ball will have a whoosh sound effect. And there will also be a sound effect for when the ball lands. The most absurd is when a base runner is stealing and we get, I don't know, a first person view or a POV of the ball, I guess. The presentation is just all over the place. During each at bat, Nick Cannon and his drumline crew will whip up some music in the middle of the at bat. Not gonna lie, some of this is kinda, kinda good. these type of games wouldn't be complete without a terrible announcer. An ordinary fly. Fly ball. He's got it. It's an out. An infield fly. That's not an infield fly. There was no one on base. He's staying in position. It's a sacrifice fly to the center fielder. That's not a sacrifice fly. There was no one on base. Center fielder. His batting average is over 30%. Throws right and bats left. Two outs. A runner. Will he go for a hit if he gets a good ball? I'd hope so. That's kind of the point of the game. Now batting. Fifth. Third baseman. His batting average is over 30%. Right batter's box. Twelfth. Twelfth what? Home run! What captivating batting. A home run. They narrowed the gap to four runs. Can they keep scoring? Six to six. The score is six to two. It's not six six. One out. No runners. I'm going to not sing it. What was that? The pitch. The batter swung and missed. I'm not editing that in. Yeah, a Japanese commentator inadvertently jumps in every once in a while. One out, no runner, no strike rumble. Which we'll get into a bit later, but man, how does this even happen? This has been Hank Johnson. Hank Johnson? Who is that? I don't think this is him. But if it is, I'm not voting for your ass. The graphics are fine for an early PS2 game. These guys make some crazy faces, and the player models get more or less detailed depending on how close they are to the camera. So one second they look normal, and then the next they look like a paper mache cutout. One of the things I'm actually impressed with is the time of day actually changes throughout the game. When it gets dark enough, the field lights will turn on in response cool little detail. It can actually rain in the middle of the game too and stop in the middle of the game as well. You know, I always love that even these weirdo bad games sometimes have features that today's modern games don't even have. Also, the sound effects when it rains is just nasty. Fly ball. The left fielder's running for it. Two third. Now the first between second base and shortstop. Here he comes. One hot. Good fielding. It's just rain, bro. It's not Nickelodeon slime. Why does it sound like that? And here's what a walk-off hit looks like. 12. The ball flies between the left and center fielders. 
Fly ball. He comes for. He got it. The second base runner passes third at. Batters. Now he's crossed. Them. The game was undecided until the very last minute. What a dramatic finale. This has been Hank Johnson coming to you live. Why is a walk-off the most subdued part of the presentation? They'll show a regular fly ball with overlays and sound effects, but a team getting a winning hit sounds like a funeral service or a game of golf. Let's make a little noise here, huh? We could talk about presentation all day, but does the game play well? Not really. Hitting is much harder than it needs to be simply because they use this angle that is off center. It's not completely behind home plate like virtually any other baseball game you've ever played. It can be hard to see where the pitches are going. It's even more difficult when you see what some of these pitches look like. That's just ridiculous. A curveball that starts at Yao Ming's eye level, then drops down to Hasbula's. This is number one bullshit. How am I supposed to lay off that? So this just leads me to swinging at anything and hoping. I feel that the hitting is just random. Majority of my hits are bloop singles. There are times where I thought I hit the ball well, but it just doesn't go anywhere. And the groove yet, right? There we First go. That's a uh, dude going right into his glove. All right. There are times where I feel like I swing at hittable pitches and the ball goes nowhere but I'll swing at a pitch out of the zone and I'll get an extra base hit. I don't get it. I'm sure there's something to it, like player ratings and whatnot. But where the hell do you access the player ratings? See what I mean? This game is a damn free for all. Throughout my time playing this game, I've only ever hit one home run. That's it. From wide up, the ball flies between the... It's flying! What perfect timing! Will the wind work for him? He comes forward. It started to... There it goes! It went into the stands behind right field. The first batter's homer. The ball arc beautifully into the stands. And there's no options for this game. Nothing. Just verses and story. Pitching and defense overall is a complete bore. The pitch, you just press a face button and move the cursor. That's it. There's nothing to tell you what face button throws what pitch. It's just a guessing game. There's no real mechanic or skill to pitching. So you can just always place your pitch wherever you want. But even that's a lie because you can only throw it in these certain cubes, which makes pitching even more limited than it already is. Speaking of limited, you don't control fielding at all. Every play is automated except you choose a base to throw to. When fielding a ball in the outfield, you always throw the ball straight to the cutoff man as opposed to straight to the base. Considering how slow everything is in general in this game, it just makes it where extra bases are taken for no reason. The whole gameplay is not very good. But there is a story mode here. Now, not unless I'm mistaken, there is no footage of this game online. So I am the first one, which is pretty cool, I guess. You start out by picking your team. Now there's apparently thousands upon thousands of teams to choose from, which is pretty crazy. These teams are all high schools. Yes, this is a high school baseball game. Since this is high school baseball, what's with this fully grown ass man on the cover? After you pick your team, you create yourself. Yeah, yeah, I meant to spell game day. It's just a typo. I didn't notice it. Come on, don't be that guy to make some kind of immature comment. Don't be that guy. After that, you get introduced to the coordinator. No, sorry, the coordinator. I've never seen it with a hyphen before. Well, I'll be damned. It's apparently a thing. The more you know, you can talk to me in the club room by pressing the circle button. Cool. When you have got an important thing to talk about, geez. Bad English Central. Also, it looks like they don't even believe in apostrophes. Talk to me by pressing circle. Okay, I got that already. Talk to me by pressing the circle, but God damn, I know. You can talk. All you do when you press circle is that she says our strength is as even as theirs. What, strength like a Dragon Ball Z battle? What are you even talking about? So the premise of this mode sounds pretty good, but it's too bare bones to be worthwhile. You can change your uniforms and that's really it. You can't even look at your own roster of players, set lineups, pitching rotations, though there's only three pitches anyway. You can't do anything. You just press circle to hear this girl and then you play your game. I ended up winning my tournament and then we had to practice for the summer tournament.
we get a little mini game of batting practice with this pitching machine and then fielding drills. Throughout this, we get little indicators that certain stats are being affected. But once again, there's not a single place you can look at your roster or stats or attributes. I wish you could, mostly to see what kind of names these dudes have. You a racist? Like, what kind of name is this? How would you even pronounce this? When you check your rankings, you get this vague graph about the team, but what about individual players? It's just not a thing. I stopped after winning the tournament. I can't really take this anymore, to be honest with you. Funny enough, the game has a Peggy 12 rating because of language, and I really tried to find out why. Maybe at the end of the season, your coordinator just says, Fuck! but here are the questions. Who made this and where did it come from? It's Japan. I think we all knew that. Yeah, I think the Japanese commentator popping in and out of existence gave it away. League Series Baseball 2 is really just one game a part of the Keishin series. Games that revolve around Japanese high school baseball on this tournament called Keishin. The publisher Midass seems to take these low effort shovelware games and just publishes them to PAL regions. But why baseball? The sport that is all but non-existent in Europe, especially in 2001. In any event, trying to dig and find some hidden gems in the PS2 library is a tall task because the majority of them are going to be like this. <laughs> 